Yo, what's up YouTube? Beer Pressure episode number 57. Today we come in, we coming at you guys with something different. I always say something different, but this is Dead Guy Ale. Rogue, Oregon Brewed, one pint. Okay, so I just want to read a little bit to you guys. It's handcrafted micro piece by Rogue Ales. Newport, Oregon, USA. Deep honey in color with a malty aroma, rich hearty flavor, and a well-balanced finish. Mm, sounds very tasty. Sounds very promising. How much is that called by volume? I'm trying to find it. Uh, this beer, by the way, was about $5. $5.48. No, no alcohol by volume on the bottle, so sorry. Not really sure. There's also some random pictures of a pig and a fire underneath it. Alright. Don't know what that means. It's got kind of an amber color to it. I think that was already mentioned. I'm really... I'm really liking how they mentioned um, honey. It looks like there, there's honey in it too. Okay. Smells good. Yeah. I'm excited. This could be this could be pretty good. Alright, cheers. Cheers. Right off the bat, very strong hops flavor. Yeah, without a doubt. <clears throat> I'm, I'm even gonna guess the alcohol by volume. I'm gonna say 5.5, 5.6. Uh, now, I am trying to try the honey part, and it, nah, I don't know. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe my taste buds are broken. <laughs> but I'm not, maybe they were talking about the color of the ale. I'm not really sure, but I'm not really tasting too much of the honey or any sweetness flavor at all. If I let it sit on the back of my uh, tongue, I kind of uh, taste a little <clears throat> sweetness. It's, it's strong. Nothing wrong with that, though. I like that. I don't know about him or any of you guys, but you you may like it if, if you like a little bit of strong, strongness in your brews. If you like bitter aftertaste, then go for it. I would say this is your thing. If you like me, excuse me, and you don't really care too much for that. <laughs> for the overwhelming bitter taste at the end, then uh, uh, it's not for you. Not for you. Yeah, I think we're gonna go right into uh, this. Might go well with maybe a dinner or something. Something to compliment. It might like cheese. Yeah. Maybe uh, some beer and cheese or something like that. I would say. Uh, you know. You might, might, I don't know if you could cook with it. I would try it. Maybe. Them. I would try yeah. it, just for the heck of it. Yeah. That's something, that, that's something worth mentioning. Maybe a, a beer batter, perhaps. Maybe. Uh, but I definitely don't really see this being bought or taken to a party or something like that, considering the price and how... Depends on what kind of party it is. Yeah. It just, I don't know, it seems, I haven't seen this, this seems a little harder to find. Not really sure how it is out there, but here in California, I mean, yeah. I haven't seen it too many places. Anyways, I kind of want to give it an intermediate. And the reason why I say that is just because... 
the bitter aftertaste is a bit on the stronger side, so that could turn off a lot of people, I'm sure. I'm used to it, so it's not that bad, but pretend you're just getting into it, yeah. Not good. Now, let's get to the final score with this thing here. Can you give this an 8? I'm going to give it a solid 7. It wasn't terrible. My only gripe with it was, once again, just too much of a strong flavor at the, at the end. You know, the aftertaste kind of killing it for me, but hey, it is what it is. I didn't really taste anything else special about it. I was expecting some honey flavor, but didn't get that either, so eh, it's just a little, excuse me, one in the one in the bunch. I'm gonna give it an eight because I don't know, it's a familiar taste. Nothing new for me. But I do like I do mm -hmm. like how it comes strong. I respect that in the beer and I always look for it in other brews. So with that said, we're gonna pour out pour one out at the end of the video. We hope you like the this episode. Thanks to, thanks once again guys for following following us, listening to what we've got to say. I mean this is kinda cool. You know, talk being able to communicate the idea is back and forth at each other kind of thing. Pretty cool. Comment below if you have any ideas of what beers you want us to review next. Yeah. And we'll see you next time. Alright. Peace. Peace.